Fungicide use has really grown in popularity over the last few years, not only because we've seen more disease issues, but also because some of the fungicides, like Headline for example, are getting used for plant health. But the question is, how can I get my best bang for the buck using any fungicide out there, we'll give you a few tips. Well, one thing that you may not have heard before about fungicides is they only move in the xylem of the plant. Now, you may already be saying, wait a second now, I'm not a plant uh, physiology major, I'm not a biology major, I don't know what the xylem is. Well, there are really two different transport systems inside the plant that move nutrients and water around. One is the phloem. The phloem moves water and nutrients up and down in the plant. The other is the xylem, and the xylem only moves up. It brings up water and nutrients from the roots, and that's it. The fungicides that are on the market today mainly just move in the xylem of the plant. So when you spray them on the plant, we oftentimes say you can only protect the leaves that are out that day. The reason why is we're going to put that into the xylem. We're going to put the fungicide into the xylem so it moves up in the plant, and that's it. It's well, not going to move down. Yeah, but only protecting what's there that day has little to do with the xylem thing. Where the xylem transport comes into play is if you don't get good spray cover, on the lower part of each leaf and in the lower leaves of the plant, those will not be protected. In terms of the new leaves that are coming out, they're a lot of times not going to be protected because even though fungicides will move in the xylem of the plant, they don't move well in the xylem of the plant. They'll move within a leaf quite commonly. They don't typically move leaf to leaf in the xylem. Well, I think people get confused too because we talk about residual and a lot of times the chemical manufacturers will say, well, our fungicide is going to have residual for a week or two weeks or three weeks or whatever the length of control is. That just means it's on that leaf and it's gonna protect that particular leaf. Right. That doesn't mean, all right, well, now my plant grew and it put on four more leaves, so they're protected, right? Because it's within that two week or four week time period. No, that's not the case. That's just how long they're going to be active on the surface of a leaf they've been sprayed on. So in terms of timing, here's what we want. With all fungicides, they are way better at protecting against disease than at curing disease. So we want you to spray before you see major disease problems. Once the disease is seriously set in, you're done. You've been had. You've already lost a whole bunch of yield. Yeah, you might be able to stop it at that point, but you can't go back in time and get that yield back. That no, yield is once, lost. Once that leaf tissue is already destroyed, it's not going to regenerate and all of a sudden, oh, it's going to become green again. No, it's done, it's dead. And when I hear that term curative, that's another one of those terms in agriculture that when I hear about a fungicide being curative, I just say, you know, you are really misinforming people when you say that. Yes, you can stop uh, a very, very low level of disease. Maybe it's two or three percent infection. But if you've got 50 percent infection on that plant, I don't care what product you use, it's too late, the damage is done, you've already lost tons of yield. So don't mislead people by saying, well, this is curative and get people thinking, oh yeah, it's gonna be great. I realize using a triazole in many cases is going to be good if you have a tiny little bit of disease started, but you just can't let it go. Like Brian said, you have to get out there early for fungicides to be effective. All right, so timing makes a big difference. Not only do we wanna have the timing right because we've gotta get out there before the disease really sets in seriously, but also we have to think about timing in terms of which leaves are out already. Or it could be the head on wheat, for example. If the head is out on the wheat plant, that's the right timing for spraying a fungicide if it's supposed to control a disease like head scab. We want about 10 to 15% flowering there. If you miss the window on one side or the other, it's not gonna be real good. Either you're too late because the disease is set in a lot, or you're too early and that head didn't quite come out. So with fungicide, we find that timing is just incredibly important. Well, and in general, you just wanna be a little bit on the early side rather than a little bit on the late side. We're talking mainly about preventative. So when we're looking at these fungicide products, just think of them as I have to get them out ahead of time otherwise chances are they just aren't going to work but again like Brian was saying there are certain stages where you have to let those leaves come out or you have to let that head start to flower before you can actually protect it. Then when we're talking about actually doing the spraying out there you want to make sure you have relatively small droplets and this becomes an issue when you're combining things with Roundup. Typically when you're spraying Roundup you're using spray nozzles that create big droplets, coarse droplets. That's not real good for fungicides. We want to have smaller droplets 
because we need great spray coverage. Just remember, when you have big droplets, yes, you will reduce drift, but you're also going to reduce spray coverage. And with fungicides, we know that if we don't treat a leaf, it is not going to be protected. And for that matter, if you don't treat the lower part of a leaf and the lower leaves on the plant, they're not going to be protected. So just make sure when you're out there spraying, you're doing everything you can to get a fair amount of water, a fair amount of spray pressure. You get good coverage over that entire plant if, again, you want your best bang for the buck. The other thing to think about is just using some surfactants. Now, there are certain products that yep. don't want a surfactant. Maybe they've got it already mixed in, but there are other fungicides that really benefit from adding a certain surfactant to it to get it to stick and spread on that leaf even better. So check with the label and check with your agronomist about the products you're using to see if an adjuvant could certainly help you get better coverage and better control with that product. Well, once again, we're just trying to help you get the most out of the fungicide that you apply. And quite commonly, if you take these steps, you can get a lot more yield gain and just a lot more profitability on your farm with no extra expense. Well, one other thing you want to work better on your farm is weed control if you have our Weed of the Week. Can you identify this week's weed? 